look at that. Damn right, Champions League. Hello and good morning YouTube, it is Matty and we are back with episode 7 in this uh, push to Champions League with the Go We, Arm Go we, we Army strategy. So firstly, welcome back guys and I hope you're going to enjoy this video. I've action packed it full of good raids and we've got a little special... Uh, um, guest commentator with me today and that is my and that is my son Benjamin so he might be a bit noisy through the video so I apologize for that but he likes to add a little bit of drama into my gameplay anyway as you can see I've smashed up to master 2 I have lost some trophies since then and I'll sort of show you what happens I'll show you what happens throughout anyway uh, I'm just gonna do a quick shout out to my clan and see uh, see how those guys are doing. But we're going to go through a load of replays. And I'll, show, I'll go through my defence log a little bit later in this video. And you can see the sort of attacks that I'm being so, sort of subdued to. So uh, I hope you're going to enjoy seeing them. Plus, obviously, all my offence. Because um, that's what it really comes down to. Looks like Ben's got a little story of his own. But first replay, what have we got? We've got a dead Town Hall 9. How do I know it's dead? Look at the Expos and the CC. He's clearly... Uh, Clearly not been playing, so uh, it should be a pretty easy raid for us, really, with no clan castle troops. He should his heroes should be alive, um, as you can see, the king at the back of the base and the queen is um, she's just gone down. So uh, yep, yeah, doing the normal strategy, dropping in the golems first, the wizards second, witches as well to start getting those skeletons in, because the skeletons act as a great sort of um, what distraction for the other units so what I'm hoping for now is that all my wizards are going to survive basically and there's no sort of secret giant bombs that are going to take half of them out uh, kings in the middle which is great and uh, we're hopefully going to take down those teslas now kings doing a brilliant job of um, using his rage to uh, get through Queenie, where is she? She's in the centre taking down those defences. So the good news is on this raid, a lot of the defences from the core are within range of the core, which means that the Queen is going to, and the Wizards are going to do a great job in taking down all those arch towers and that sort of thing. But unfortunately, our King has gone down at the moment, and it's going to. This raid is going to really be decided on the Queen's next actions, and she's decided to uh, to get out of there. But luckily, she's out of range of that cannon. So I'm really happy that she survived. But I've got a load of witches left as well. And witches are great because obviously they're going to keep spawning skeletons um, until, yeah, well, that's it. They're just going to keep spawning even when they die, as long as the witches stay alive. Um, it doesn't look like I've got any golems left, so it's going to be all down to the queen and the witch behavior now as to how we go on. But you can see the cannon's already distracted, but uh, I've had to use the queen's ability because she was about to get shot down by the cannon. And what's the queen going to do now? She goes back inside the court and takes down that arch tower, which really is paramount, I think, to this raid. Now, unfortunately, she didn't get a chance to take down that wizard tower, which would have made it even better. Because look at it destroying all those troops. But the wizards do turn on it eventually and get those shots in. And we've got a couple of troops that have survived to right to the end of the raid. And now it's just a, a time pressure. Can we get it done? And looks like we can on this one. So... Did, I think I did have a lightning spell left as well. So plus 16. Nice easy raid there. Just looking at my clan's response. Do a quick few shout outs. Uh, great Sky. Jesse. Jesse was literally spamming. Which is quite annoying. So unlucky for you sir. Uh, shared it. Um, who else we got there? It's hard, to, it's hard to read between all the spamming. But anyway. Back to the next raid. And we've got a an, another boatload of trophies on this one. So, first thing you can see, it's a Town Hall 10. Uh, both Infernos are level 1. You can always tell the Inferno levels. and the, It's a medium upgrade. It's like a Town Hall 9 with Infernos, to be honest, on this defence. It's maybe even a Town Hall 8 on the, if you base it on the Wizard Towers um, and that sort of thing. But... Um, so it's not too bad, not too hugely upgraded. Now what the witches are going to do here is provide a good, or should provide a good distraction for that Inferno Tower. But the Inferno locked onto the king. But fortunately, it was taken down um, before it could do anything. And as you can see, this guy's got giants in his clan castle. And giants, especially like if they're not level 6, are about as useful as a potato. So... Um, to be fair, potatoes can be quite useful. But uh, anyway, Town Hall's about to go down. Queen's locked onto it. Wizards have locked onto it. And now it shouldn't be too difficult. There's some 
To be fair on this guy, there was some really good giant bomb placement, which took down... A le oh, the gypsies are driving by. Anyway, look, <laughs> to take down... Um, yeah, the giant bomb did take down a lot of my uh, defences and... Um, uh, sorry, my units. So that was pretty good. But other than that, this guy... Uh, this guy had it coming. So 22 trophies, easy two star there. And now we're into the next raid. And we've got a pretty well upgraded Town Hall 10. It's not maxed if you look at the wizard towers, air defence, arch towers, that sort of thing. But the Infernos, I think they are level 3, um, multi-mode Infernos, so it's always a worry. Um, but you've, well, it's, it is and it isn't. Go Wee Wee is a, quite a nice strategy, so um, it me makes it less worrying for me. Some good giant bomb placement there for the guy, for the guy helped him uh, take down some of my wizards. But we've got our, all the defensive buildings on the outside are gone. It's now sort of a straight up rush into the core. Um, looks like it, we're going to go pretty well. Got the king and the queen both heading to that core. Um, all the witches as well to act as a good distraction. Now what's key here is those Teslas need to go down quick because they do great damage against my heroes. And hopefully the Inferno Towers are going to go down pretty quick as well. But now we've got the queen taking down the Inferno. Both Infernos down. Wizards on the town hall. And that turned out to be a very quick and easy uh, raid which I wasn't expecting. Um, looks like... Oh, I remember that raid. My uh, The reason the timer was so long is because it cut out on me. As in, my phone died. It's mid-raid, but luckily I'd already taken down the two-star. This is my defence log. As you can see, I'm getting absolutely hammered on defence. And that's pretty true for Master 3 and Master 2, to be honest. That sort of is an accurate representation of it. But when you move it to Master 1... Oh, hello, Ben. Master 1 and Champions League, it gets a lot easier. You'll notice the graphics have slightly changed now on my video. That's because I've switched um, from... The, the previous video was on uh, Reflector, and this is now iRec. So I've done a little bit... I had to do a little bit of a sharpen on the video because it um, kills the quality a little bit on iRec. But uh, hopefully it's, it's um, not too bad of a change for you and you're okay. So this guy, um, he's a Town Hall 10. The, the Infernos are quite far away from the Town Hall, which I quite liked, actually. Because it meant that a lot of my ranged units, especially the Queen, could take down that Town Hall untouched. But the problem was... The CC pulled the Queen in quite closely to the Town Hall. So I had to use her ability then to help um, speed her up in taking down the Town Hall. And it looks like I'm only going to be able to walk away with a one star on this raid in the end. Which is a little bit unfortunate to be honest. But, uh, you know, better a one star than a no star. Queen's just about to die. Golem's about to die. Um, looks like it's, we're coming up to the final end of this raid. Normally I have my eight archers left. But there was literally no chance I was going to be able to rack up 11% with a few archers. So... Uh, unfortunate on that one next raid we got here this is a more of a maxed tunnel but still not fully maxed you can see a, a couple of lower level cannons and a couple of, and the uh, wizard towers but it's still pretty well upgraded and again, we've got um, sort of Inferno Towers that are offset back against the Town Hall, which makes it my job even easier. Um, in the later raids that we're going to see in the series, that, that's, ne that's very rarely the case. Normally, the Infernos are right next to the Town Hall. Um, so I, I suppose, uh, this because we're at M2 and M3, um, you're going to see sort of slightly tricky raids, but, but ultimately not as tricky as they, they're going to be. So um, still nice and easy, and yeah... Okay, we've got some skeletons moving on to the town hall. Our queen should turn onto it now. Yee, yeah, and she does. Um, the queen has, on sort of max basis, the queen, once you, um, she, her, her, her AI sort of does sort itself out a little bit if you're attacking the right sort of bases. Um, and it does look like we're going to be able to go for a two star on this raid as well, guys, because the queen and king are both still full health, or not full health, but enough health to do some damage use the queen's ability there that expo is causing me a little bit of trouble but hopefully that's going to go down now and the queen's not going to be full on stupid but she actually was look look at where she's going for uh but hopefully that air, air defense is gonna go down it didn't but what have i got left in my arsenal and hopefully it's a couple of archers because i always bring out eight archers into this um I dropped all seven archers up there then, hoping that they were going to take down that extra ba uh, barracks, and it looks like they did. So we're going to get our last archer taking down that 50%. And that, I'll tell you what, guys, that was the difference between 10 trophies and 21 tro and uh, yeah, 21 trophies. So big swing on that one, so really happy with that raid as well. And yeah, next raid. This is a live raid for you. Looks like I recorded it live. You can see both Infernos are covering the Town Hall, but the, the air defence is relatively low. The Wizard Towers are only level 
six or a seven, I can't remember which one that one is. Um, Cannons of Maxo, and looks like Arch Towers are pretty well upgraded. So it's a uh, sort of good Town Hall uh, 10, but um, I was happy that I, with two Archers then I, I was able to uh, fully deploy both of those Giant Bombs and pull out the CC. Now this guy looks like he had an uh, offence lined up for his Clan Castle because they're Hog Riders and Hog Riders are pretty useless as CC defence. But what I was doing is dropping down those w witches because um, the little skeletons that they keep on producing are going to make short work of the clan castle troops. And it also means that, um, yeah, I can the witches can then be used as part of the raid. So now what I'm going to do is quickly drop down the, uh, the golems. I, I want to make sure that my witches stay alive at this point in the raid. And now it's time for the wizard sort of um, spread to clear up all those outside buildings. As you can see, I'm way in on the uh, on the spells until my wall breakers are start, sort of edging close to the wall, starting to break through. We've got a double break in the triple break in the wall now. There's still not the town hall broken because the um, inferno would have taken that down or taken those wall breakers down. So I'm going to aid a jump spell in there to make sure that the king, if he needs to, can get into the town hall. I've got a rage spell and a lightning spell left, so we're just going to bide our time now and see what we need. But the queen's taking down the town hall, which is perfect. King's running off to the left. Um, looks like a two-star should be pretty easy on this raid, actually. It doesn't look like we're going to need to do much interfering um, or use of any spells. So I'm waiting on the queen's ability now, just keep, give, get, keeping a very close eye on her. I'm going to choose the right time to use it, should I need to. Um... And yeah, looks like this is sort of the end of this raid. 52%, 22 trophies. So you can see why I was, I've absolutely, been absolutely screaming through this series and uh, done it so... I think I did the series in about a week uh, or five days, I think it was, by the time I hit Champions League. So now we're at the uh, this Town Hall 10, which I'm, I think it's the final raid of the video. So hope you enjoy this one. It's another live raid for you guys. <coughs> Hello, Ben. Hey, buddy. Watch this. Daddy's doing a live raid. What does that look like, eh? So, three, two, one, in we go. You can see both golems have gone in. We've got a, should be the third golem going up the top, which it's done. All the wizards cleaning up all those outside buildings now. And now we need to start breaking in towards that core. So, I'm dropping wall breakers down, witches down, heroes down. Basically, everyone's going to have to get deployed now and uh, see how close we can get to that core. Um, king in, queen going in, and now you've got to really just watch the raid and see when you're going to need to deploy those extra rage spells, jump spells, jump spell again. I think was a, an absolute fail. I'm not sure, um, or, or wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But the rage spell is going to be really key here. King's health going down now. Queen is going into the centre. Looks like she's going to be taking down the town all pretty soon. So I'll drop the rage spell in there anyway to help her along her way. And Queen, she's the only person sort of really doing the damage on the town all at the moment. She's going to be the saviour of this raid by the look of it. And we're at 47%. There goes the Queen taking down the town hall. Excellent. Can she take down that expo to get us the 49%? And even the 50%? Is she going to pull it off for me? She is 50%. Thank you, Queenie. 20 trophies with your name on it. So... Queen looks like she's sorted out her own AI. Oh, sorry, I have one more raid for you guys. As you can see, this raid's a bit of a snipe. And with 22 trophies available, it might as well try and go for the two star. Um, so what I'm going to do is do a nice deployment on the golems. Which wizards behind, sorry, as always, to clear out those outside buildings. And the re you've got to understand the wizard behaviour in this uh, sort of raid strategy. And the wizard behaviour really is to, uh, to clear buildings out so that your core you your core destroyers which are the which are the heroes hold on um the heroes make it into the center and go where they need to go but if you can get those wizards to survive as well obviously they're going to do hella damage into the core as well because they've got such a high dps um anyway looks like we well the first star was really easy um looks like we're going to have no problem getting into the second star now the queen's focusing on the uh the expo to the right hand side. King's powering through to that clan castle and seeing what he can do there. Um, and what we happen to walk away with. <coughs> 15 trophies, Ben, that was. Anyway, guys, I hope you, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. As I told you on the previous one, I was going to action pack it with a load more raids in for you. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed sort of the the higher frequency and the the, the a better quality of raiding. Um, I've got loads more videos to come on this series. I, I, I did power through it quite quick, but. 
I, I've got a huge quantity of uh, great race to show you. So really hope this series is helping with your or understanding the Go Wee Wee strategy. And what I will do is, well, what I'd like you to do is drop some comments in the sec comment section, drop a like if you like the video, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. So thank you very much, guys, and peace out.